I felt the need to, to just make some fucking noise, something ugly in my life. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Belgian Jasper. If this is your first time on the channel, hit subscribe right now. Lars, thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. Um, we had already, I mean, we've seen a lot uh, of bands and projects that you've been in, but quite recently we've had White Void, now we have Black Void. What is it like living with multiple personalities? Uh, well, uh, it's nice. Uh, never, never feel alone, you know. <laughs> Some days you feel you feel a bit like this. Other days you feel a bit like that. So I just sort of went ahead and put that into some kind of system. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, for for the people that might be new to both white and black void, um, you know, with white void. You have a more progressive, melodic, hard rock metal uh, a band where you embrace a certain mindset. And then basically Black Void is the complete 180 degrees from that. Yeah, it's the polar opposite, I right. guess. That's, I, I mean, the idea of, of both of those bands were to be, it's a bit of a yin-yang thought. Right where you, I mean, it's all connected, but but it's sort of a flip side of the coin. It's it's the opposites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so White Void is the sort of colorful, you know, flamboyant, melodic, soft, like 70s hard rock uh, band with, with these 80s kind of vocal yeah. melodies. While Black Void is, at least the way I see it, a more mixture of, of old school black metal and punk. There's a lot of punk in, in yeah. Black Void, and it's supposed to be ugly and uncomfortable, you know. So yeah, try to try to make them like as polar opposites as I can. Given that it is yin and yang of the same um, person or concept or idea, um, so how does that work? Because I. I do believe that you know a material for both bands is, is written over quite a good amount of time. Does that mean that you are inspired? You you work on something, and then based on how that comes out, it is determined it is for white or black void. Or do you start the creative process going like no, I want to work it's... on one of the other now? Yeah, no. When when I write music, I just sit down and I write music, and then afterwards, when when I have a song, I go, okay, so what's this then? Right, uh, and that was how White Void was born because I I'd written quite a few songs that didn't really fit in, in into any of my other bands. Right, um, and I found out okay, I want to do something with this, and then I started writing yeah more material within that same sort of framework. But Black Void sort of grew out of that White Void process because when I, when I'd written quite a lot of songs that had that s sort of melodic. Um, uh, and more, more like softer approach. Uh, yeah. I felt the need to, to just make some fucking noise, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, just I, I needed something ugly in my life. <laughs> <laughs> so I just sat down and I started writing these like really crude punk riffs. Yeah. Um, didn't really plan to do anything about them. I just needed to get them out of my system. It was reaction, you know, to, to the work I did with uh, White Void. But then all of a sudden I had a lot of songs because yeah. it was really fun writing that kind of music. Um, and that's when the, the sort of whole idea of White Void, Black Void um, came into being. Uh, also because I was working like conceptually, I was working with the lyrics and the concept of White Void, which is based on uh, absurdism, like the philosophical yeah. direction of Albert Camus. Um, and um, I thought I, I would do the, the same thing with Black Void, but just with a different philosopher. So I chose, right. uh, I chose Nietzsche and nihilism. Uh, and the interesting part is, I mean, the, the same way that the music of White Void and Black Void, they, uh, they have the same kind of starting point because, because it starts with me and my, my love of music, right? But then they explode into different directions. Um, and the philosophy of, uh, of Camus and Nietzsche uh, kind of works the same way. 
I mean, both philosophers start out with the same problem. They try to, to tackle this problem of, of the absurd, the fact that life is absurd and it has no inherent meaning and, and there's no sense of direction that yeah. you get from, from getting born. But they choose very different ways of, of dealing with that. Um, so uh, I thought that would be an elegant solution to, to make sure that it's, it's connected conceptually, it's connected musically, but it's very different in the way that it sort of expresses itself. I mean, not only is everybody involved in the project in many, many bands or in many projects, you've got obviously Borknagar, which is um, a, a well-established band. Um, and then you almost have now a side project of a side project, but there's a lot of passion there, clearly. Um, this is something that means a lot to you. Is there a danger that you cannot give it the attention it deserves? No, not really. And I also, I, um, I, I don't agree on the expression side project because I have no side projects. Uh, I take everything I do uh, with, with the same, let's call it grave enthusiasm. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, I take it all seriously. Uh, so um, they demand different things of me. Like Borknagar uh, is a much bigger band, so we have a lot of, of things we have to do that I don't have to, to do with White Floyd and Black Floyd. Right. But it's, I mean, they cater to different sides of, of, of you know, my creative spirit, I guess. Uh, I do, um, I collaborate much more with other musicians in Borknagar. We write much yes. more together, I mean, we produce more together. Uh, White Void and Black Void is more of, let's call them, benign dict dictatorships, maybe. Because I just I wrote all the music and then I gathered right. the band. Uh, but but both of those bands, I mean, wouldn't sound the way that they do without the musicians that are involved. Exactly. Right. Also, because I'm a terrible guitarist and I I write everything on a guitar and then I sort of send the songs to a proper guitarist and then I go, can you translate this into proper guitar? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, they do they do color the songs very much with their their attitude of, of playing and the personalities as yeah. musicians and i guess both both white void and black void uh hopefully will will develop in a way that makes it much more of sort of like integrated bands where everyone comes to the table much more early to to contribute to the writing process right. and everything but yeah, it, it, you know, these things, I, it just started in my home studio with me sitting sure. uh, with my guitar. So, yeah, yeah. and I didn't really know that I was going to do something like properly with it until it was too late to bring anyone into the writing process because I'd already written everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. The music of these different bands is quite different. And so you yeah. might expect on one area that there's going to be fans of one of the bands, but not necessarily of all three. But then I can also under, um, imagine people that just love everything that you've done want to explore all those areas with you. How do you, how do you see the reaction so far with... From, well, from I think, uh, yeah, I, I, I think we've got like different camps. Uh, right. It's like some people, some people have just followed me for more than 20 years and they right. listen to everything I do, uh, which which is awesome. I, you know, I, I appreciate those, those people uh, a lot. Um, other people, uh, I find that a lot with White Void. I'm, White Void, we have a lot of fans that don't like any of the other stuff that I do. Right. I like White Void and that's it. Um, but quite a lot of people, I mean, it's like metalheads usually listen to a lot of different music uh, apart from metal as well. Right. So um, the ones who are inclined to like Black Void, I think a lot of them will like White Void anyway, because right. it's yeah. Um, I They're think really that, nice quality and genuine. yeah. I think that the, the people who find White Void and don't know about any of the other stuff, and they they hear that and maybe maybe that they like you know the seventies hard rock like Blue Oyster Cult or you know those kinds of bands, and they hear White Void and okay that. 
I, I like that. That reminds me of you know that era and uh, and all of that. And then they hear Black Boy and they go, no fuck no. <laughs> I I don't like I don't like screaming in my music. I had right, 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 I had, right, few, right. I had a few messages uh, saying that people who love White Void had checked out your Black Void. There was too much screaming for me. <laughs> Fine, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I guess just yeah. Uh, yeah. There'll probably be a new uh, White Void album next year, so just just wait for that, you know. A way to describe Black Void would be some sort of blackened punk music. Um, there's there's a lot going on though, and a, and and there, it's a very diverse album. Uh, it's 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 at times really hard to label as as most of the music that you do, which I think <laughs> it, it, it keeps you know your fans so excited about it. One thing you know, you said I needed something ugly in my life. Uh, it's about nihilism. Uh, there, it, it's violent aggression. But let's be honest. This sounds like an album you had a lot of fun making. Oh yeah, for sure. But I mean, um, you can uh, you can have fun and and dabble in ugly at the same time. Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, uh, ugly can be fun. Aggression can be fun. Uh, yeah. It's. I think with all the music that that I make, I'm I'm having fun. I'm I'm enjoying the process. Yeah, yeah. I've never in my life made an album where I thought, well, this is this is a chore, you know. Right. Uh, I mean, it's it's tiresome and it's frustrating and it can be um, a, a lot of you know negative things in the process. But um, uh, over all of that, you know. Over uh, over all of those issues issues lies this sort of um, blanket of positivity because I I enjoy the process I enjoy yeah. you know going going through uh, all the stages of making an album getting past all the obstacles and then finally sitting with the the LP in my hand the vinyl right. of course is always the most important thing of any <laughs> I mean as we can see from that beautiful wall behind you that uh... oh, yeah. There's some, there's there some nice collection there. Um, now you say like, okay, the getting to that vinyl stage, that's that's where you want to be. But let's be honest, for this music, this album particularly, we want to be in a dark club somewhere where we yeah. see this music being played live, where we can feel it, where we can sweat to it, where we can just go crazy. Even more so than 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 what your other bands that you're currently working with. Um, uh, What's the, because you said, you know, I take all my bands seriously. There's nothing that I do half-assed. Um, there are a lot of um, expectations you have to live up with Borg Nagar. Um, I know that there uh, at, at least were some plans as well for, for live shows with White Void. What's the, what's the possibility there for, for Black Void? Like, what are you planning on that front? Yeah, I didn't really, uh, I didn't really plan something specific yet. Uh, I think it would be really fun to do something live yeah. with Black Void because it's so physical. The, the it's made for music. life music, yeah. Uh, I think the first thing I have to do, though, is... I mean, this is this was the first time I did black metal vocals of any kind. Uh, I need to find a way of being able to do that for a full show. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, and I'm, several nights in a row. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not trained for that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so I can I can sit down and I can I can do that in the studio, but I have to work on that first. Uh, but we did. I mean, I gathered the guys and and we talked about you know uh, what comes after this. I I already wrote another album, so so there will for sure be at least one more Black Void album uh, later down the road. But we really do want to do something live, and it would be really fun to do uh, a White Void Black Void tour. I was just, just to about be, to say that, or like you know, yeah. and 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 you know, maybe not even tell people which one it's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> it's like come to the show and find out. But because uh, yeah. I mean, if it's if if black metal vocals are 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 somewhat more newer to you to train than having to do two full shows a night, uh, several nights in a in a week or in a month, that that it's gonna be. I guess um, should should start with white void, so I could do the. the clean vocals and then just wreck my voice and, and back load afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I 
hopefully we get uh, to see you on many stages this summer uh, season. Yeah. Um, and on top of that, uh, you've already teased in this interview a new White Void and a new Black Void album. So you're going to be busy uh, in the coming months. Yeah, well, I, I write a lot. So I, I'm, I'm almost done writing the fourth White Void album and I'm working on the third Black Void album. So, <laughs> wow. But I'm thinking, uh, here's the deal. Uh, when, I, when I am inspired, I just write. Um, because I can have six months where I don't write anything and I can write two albums in a month, you know, right. you never know. So I was just thinking, well, I have inspiration, why not just write? And then I won't get stuck in that, okay, record label says we, we need to release an album. Okay, right. I have to Here's write. Here's the deadline, and yeah. I have that exactly. writing fucking pressure. Um, I, I, I don't think that, you know... Uh, is a good setup for great music yeah. so yeah it's just right and then maybe when we get there i find out uh yeah i'd, I'd rather write some new songs and i i'll do that instead but yeah i have a lot of music uh, in the bank now so yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sounds like it it sounds like it. to wrap us up uh Lars, uh because we mentioned the beautiful wall of vinyl behind you there uh apart from any of the bands that you're actively involved with uh any recent additions that you're truly excited about in your collection there? Yes, uh, two albums, uh, both from the same record label, uh, from uh, Deba Nur Morty. Um, one is uh, almost our name brothers in White Ward, uh, okay. Ukra Ukrainian band, fantastic band. Um, they, um, they're releasing a, an album uh, in about two weeks called False Light, which is just absolutely mind-blowingly fantastic. Uh, so that one is on its way in the mail, uh, and um, the other one is the new uh, Blut aus Nord album, which is also absolutely awesome. I, I love that so much. So yeah, those are the two albums I listen to the most these days. Awesome, awesome. Well, I, I, I hope, uh, you know, many mail services will deliver many packages uh, um, <laughs> at your front door uh, while we all wait for you know, it sounds like five more White Void and seven more Black Void albums coming our at way. Least, at at least. least. There we go. Lars, I want to thank you so much for your time today. I've had a lot of fun with the new Black Void album. It, uh, I can yeah. all, I, I, I think I have a, uh, I get a sense of how much fun it was to make it, <laughs> uh, given just the smile it puts on my face when I'm, when I'm listening to it. Uh, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And I do hope to see you with any of your bands uh, play many shows uh, in, uh, in the summer months. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. It's a pleasure. See you, uh, see you next time I release an album, I hope. <laughs> okay, so talk to you tomorrow. Okay, got that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs>